ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown Live! My name is Dave Easton. I am alongside, of course, the commentary experience, Tim Price. Yes, it's great to be here for all this edition of SmackDown Live, which is going to be a huge one, especially with, well, a huge Fatal 4-Way that you're about to hear about. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the Fatal 4-Way. That is coming up tonight. Georgie Mack, Danny Six, uh, Nova Mahal, and Simon Cather. One of these four men will take on... Uh, Thomas N for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. It is a huge night on SmackDown. Let's get things cracking with the knacking. That's going to be a huge match. And well, for an absolutely huge show, who will begin a show at the World Heavyweight Championship? And of course, this has been brewing the last few weeks. Of course, Trey Donovan and Brudeley have went back and forth in singles victories. Tonight, they go in tag team action as Trey Donovan teams with, the, of course, the curfew man, Curtis Bonner, and Brody Lee teams up with Bobby Hall. And what match is this going to be? The same um, reunion, you could say, of the uh, NSW Originals. Yeah. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, introduce him first, of course. He's the man of a list. He's from Canada, Trey Donovan. It's the man with the list. The one and only Trey Donovan, who will. He's teaming up to another guy he knows very well. Uh, you know, a fellow NSW original in the curfew man, Sam Barnett. And say, those two will gel together very well. And of course, we've just seen in the intro there, Tim, that uh, Trey Donovan and Brody Lee have gone back and forth in the last few weeks. Of course, Sam Barnett, of course, and Bobby Hall have went traded victories as well over on main event. And they certainly have so it makes for a very interesting tag team matchup we have here. I've seen, you know, the dynamics of one team who've known each other for so many years and worked together previously against a team who have been around for many years but don't really, well, never really teamed up. Don't know each other that well. Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, he is from Chicago, Illinois. He wants you to go to sleep. He's C.M. Barnett. Where the curfew man, C.M. Barnett, looking to put his opponents to sleep tonight. Make them follow their curfew. And so him and Trent Donovan. They're years in NSW because NSW Originals should be able to put on an absolute classic. Our time restraints again, Massey. Ah, beautiful time restraints. Well, ladies and gentlemen, their opponents introducing first. He is a man of mystery, Bobby Hall. And certainly a man of mystery. And Bobby Hill's the man who's been around NSW for many, many years. Go back all the way to, I think, I believe season two. And we'll see. Can Bobby Hill and Brody Lee make a real good dynamic as a tag team? They certainly look like they can. We'll see if they can work together to really get the job done. And, of course, Bobby Hall with that signature bat, of course. Ah, yes, the signature baseball bat that he brings down to the ring. But I don't think it's uh, actually used. No. Well, of course, he gets disqualified, of course. Of course. Well, ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, he is Big Bad Brody Lee. I mean, I do have to say, Bobby Hall's got a hell of a tag team partner, Big Bad Brody Lee. Those two are going to be hard hitting competitors. That are going to, you know, dish out destruction to the NSW Originals. I mean, singularly they could do that, but as a tag team, we'll see. Can they coexist and build towards a big, big victory? Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're underway as a... Oh, my goodness, a huge knee already. And, of course, we're talking about a big night here, of course, um, on SmackDown Live. We're going to find out who is going to be the new number one contender. Of course, we heard from Mr. McMundo this past week on Raw, uh, Tim. Smackdown Superstar is going to be on Raw this coming week. Yeah, they sound there, and that's going to be a huge night as Bobby Hall here. Oh my goodness, what a leg drop! But yeah, you definitely don't want to miss out on well next week's edition of Raw. It is going to be a huge show and jam packed with Smackdown also being there. <laughs> Just a straight slap by, of course, uh, Trey Donovan. Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange to him that uh, Mr. McMunner is saying that, of course, Raw Superstars, SmackDown Superstars are going to be in these battle royals to determine who's going to be the, the last entrant, of course, or who's going, which show is going to get the last entrant. Feel a bit sorry for NXT, because, of course, they're going to have some superstars in there. 
I do feel a bit sorry for NXT that they can't get, you know, that lucrative, thir you know, number 30 spot. But yeah, we will see some NXT superstars in the Royal Rumble, some great surprises. Wait a minute here, what this, in oh the my. world? Oh, good <laughs> lord, what's a hurricane into the powerbomb? Well, I'll tell you one thing, it could be night-night for Mr. Bobby Hall here if he's not careful. It could be, but look at that. Oh. And maneuver him in. Oh! Super kick! And right into the jaw. Oh, Bobby Hill's looking to end this already. Oh, is he looking for that burning hammer? Oh! oh God! Spikes him with that burning hammer. Into the cover. Referee completely doing laps, as usual. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. That didn't work out for uh, Big Bad Brody Lee. <laughs> the first thing he does is get hit from behind. But, uh... Oh, wait, that curfew man coming back yet. Yeah. As a uh, miscommunication may not even actually hinder Bobby Hall here. Oh, wait a minute, they'll catch her the foot. Oh, the foot and all oh, sweeps Bobby Hall down face first into the mat. And now, Barnett kick into the midsection. And now this is this is how quick CM Barnett is. Look at this. Drop kick, second one under the chin. Ducks under. And there's the spinning neck breaker. And this is this is the thing of the veteran. Uh, you know, actually, all men in these matches are, are, are pretty veterinary status. Yeah, definitely are all veterans in this matchup. I've been on this W for many years. So yeah, they're all veterans. But right now, Sam is in control with the big clothesline. Could that knee have just taken out Bobby Hall here? Oh, what? Oh, my God. That is a bit of a shock. But ladies and gentlemen, CM Barnett and Trey Donovan. Well, you've got to say one thing, Tim. They were very smart by bring, not bringing Brody Lee in. Yeah, that's very smart. They isolated the opponent. They isolated Bobby Hall. And that's that's what I think about the originals. They say they work so well as a team. But can we see more of them teaming up? Wow. Wow, well, ladies and gentlemen. A big win. It's curfew night here. In Tucson, as well. oh my goodness, see Thomas, and let's see what he has to say tonight. We will find out who will be my first challenger for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. So tonight, boys, I will be watching very closely. And next week, I want the winner to start the show with me in the ring. Oh my goodness, well, that'll be huge for, of course, next week. But yeah, tonight we'll find out the number one contender. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, non-title action: the SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks, the boss. Is going to take on the last kick kicker, Becky Lynch. And this is a huge opportunity for Becky Lynch to, you know, get one over the current women's champion. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, she is the Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch. And this is, yes, yeah, a huge opportunity for Becky Lynch. If she can defeat Sasha Banks, got to think that's going to put her up there. As a potential, you know, number one contender to the SmackDown Women's Championship. Right. Oh, time restraints. Lovely time restraints. Seems to be a problem we had the other night as well. Tim. No, don't say Tim. It. No. It's boss time! I want to go back to Japan in the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. And well, that coffin in Japan doesn't seem so bad now, the moment you said that cringy shit. Oh, come Ugh. on. I don't even know. It is boss time. Oh, my goodness. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're underway as uh, Becky Lynch... And Sasha Banks. Look at the forearms. My goodness me, the women's champion in uh, trying to be looking to end this early. But uh, here comes Becky Lynch. Lovely ginger hair on Becky Lynch. Yes, lovely ginger hair. A lot of long the hair in this. Redhead. A lot of long hair in this match, apart from the ref who's got no hair. No hair for him. Oh. Maybe you should get a wig. Wow. J Jim Judgment? Yeah. Poor Jim. A wig might suit him. Do you know he's been bald since he was 12? It, did he have a choice in it or did he just like shaving his hair? 
he said he wanted to always remind himself of his greatest hero. Huh. Who's his greatest hero? Um, apparently it was a, 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 a Easter egg. Oh, okay. Well, we are coming up to well, yeah, we are coming up to Easter. So, I mean, very interesting that, that his childhood hero is an Easter egg. Don't know why an egg and not the Easter Bunny. Because they're not real. Good point. Yeah. But uh, back to the wrestling match here, of course. As uh, Sasha Banks, of course, defeated Alex Vader to become the SmackDown Winter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can see ten of the beacons. Is she actually hitting her head into the turnbuckle? Yeah, kind of. Like, in a way she was, but we got ten of the beacons. Yeah. Uh, no, what's really this Becky doing? Oh! God, just drops her down. And this is a thing, if Becky Lynch says she could get a huge win, you got to feel that's got to put her up there as a number one contender. Yeah, of course, we will be trying to find out who is the new number one contender next week uh, on the show. Uh, we've been promised a, a very special match for, for the women to decide who will be the number one contender to the title. Oh, I do love a good special match. I wonder what is going to be. It's all big double knees into the corner by Sasha Banks and now a cover hook off the leg. Oh, but kick no. out of one. Sasha Banks, of course. As, was, as I was trying to say before, defeated Alex Vader and stopped Alex Vader becoming the longest reigning champion. We've had a few of them recently. Uh, yeah, we've seen it on Monday. Was it Monday? Was it Tuesday? I can't remember. We have no schedule now. Uh, no, we don't. On the last... Oh, no, we definitely wait, a oh wait! Disarmor! Oh! Disarmor, but uh, um, well into the ropes there. And it's like, oh, there's a cover though. That could have done it. A hook off the leg. But no, Sasha Banks kicking out and saying on Raw, well, Bisping was, was it four days short of getting the longest reign until Mobile Wolf stops that? But you know where you can check that, don't you, Tim? The YouTube. The, well, I was going to say the fandom, but never mind. We'll go with the YouTube as well, I guess. That's, uh, I was speaking more the show. Oh, of course. And you could also check the fandom to see all our historical stats. And see who, of course, was the longest reigning champion. Who, of course, is in the main event tonight. Uh, yes, wait, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh right, um, the, right the lady bit. Yeah, and some people say, well, she's a woman. That doesn't hurt, does it? Um, It does. Have you felt the pain? Well, I mean, yes, I've been. What no, the? What in the? Oh, a submission here. Very innovative submission by Becky. She's going for the legs here, not usually her style. She's more of an arm specialist. But, and, well, so, Sasha Banks gets out of it. I'm going to say, Becky Lynch trying everything here, but, oh, wait a minute, flip over by the women's champion, and, oh, back suplex. I think it shouldn't have Becky Lynch been disqualified. Why? She kicked her right in the pussy. <laughs> that is true, yes, but... Uh... Well, I don't think Jim Judgment's seen it. Ah, uh, yeah, he's blind as hell. Oh, wait a minute, she's gonna look for Bangkok this time, and this time she'll hit it! Sexy pin! That's how she won the title! Sexy pin! I love a sexy pin. Oh! I mean, I would have complained if I was getting pinned like that. Ah, that is true. Oh, wait a minute, look, it's a look at a bank statement. She's got it, but no, Vicky Lynch. She gets her legs to the ropes. Oh, Hurricane Warner by the champ. Tell you one thing, Tim. It is definitely going to be boss time if this keeps up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. as a deep, deep mark You shouldn't have said that cringy line. Oh, wait now, a minute. Disarmor locked in. But no, Bunt's quick to get out of it and pushes her in the ass. Grabbing that booty. And oh, vicious backbreaker! Yeah, Becky Lynch is showing exactly. Maybe she is. I'm on the up here in the women's division. Certainly seems like it. I mean, the thing is now, Sasha Banks is going to have a tough time locking in. And then the bank statement through with the damaged arm as a cover hook of the leg, and no. Still only a two can still. The champ digging deep here, but Becky Lynch is just hitting her with bombs here, big clotheslines. And then the drop kick. 
Sasha, well, wisely rolling to the outside, Tim. Just giving herself a breather. Yeah, that is, you know, veteran instinct. That is ring smarts. And, yeah, very well, Sasha Banks. But, oh, Becky Lynch is able to catch her, though. And what is she going for here? Oh! Just dropping her on a barricade. She should have pushed her over. She should have. <laughs> not, that we're, not, not that we're telling Becky Lynch, of course, what to do, of course. Uh, no. There's a... Becky Lynch has Sasha... But what? Um... <laughs> Um, trying to go for that invisible ghost again. Oh no, that poor ghost. Oh, look at this. Guillotine leg drop. <laughs> her, her best friend Zadlan taught her that. Oh, nice to see Zadlan as a best friend. As always, no try to grab the arm for another disorder. Sasha Pink's lovely drop to her whole body. Oh, what a spinning heel kick that was, though. Right under the jaw. A beautiful spin here, kicking in a nasty European uppercut to follow, and now the cover hook off the leg. But no, can't get her. No wonder we're ha having to cut entrances tonight. Yeah, they don't want to take the fall. Oh, she's getting ready for this. Could be about to be bossed out. I don't know where I was going with that. DDT! A lovely DDT by Becky Lynch. Yeah, oh. she Sasha Banks' oh, number. Come on, come on. Come on. Caught her into the cover, has got her. Stop stopping at him! Jesus, Jim! He's a pervert, what do you expect? Oh, look at this quick roll up! Jim taking got... forever again! <laughs> oh! No, again! Baker and Jeff, it's a kick out! Just shows you how quick these two superstars are to get the advantage. Big hip toss! And now another cover. Arm drag, even. The leg. She boots it, I was going to say, she beats it from an arm drag. Arm drag. I would be rather shocked. Well, we did see someone went off with Russian leg sweep. That is true. Oh, look at this submission right into the back. So close to the ropes. And, oh! Oh, Becky, what is she thinking here? She's all fired up, his Becky Lynch. She Me wants to get a huge victory over the, you know, spread that woman's champion. You have to say, Tim, that Becky Lynch is surely. Seizing her opportunity here, really taking the, the SmackDown Women's Champion to the limit. Yeah, she really says, Oh, see more of it with a lovely close on into the corner. Yeah, she is putting Sasha Banks through her paces. Becky Lynch could be just moments away from scoring a victory. She's looking for it now. And still, oh. Sasha kicks out. More entrance kind. I'm sure, I'm sure there's definitely. <laughs> Got to be a few ad breaks, surely, in this show. Yeah, it has to be. Wait a minute, or disarmor! Yep, and now... This she's time! Got locked in. She's got it locked in. His bank's going to tap out. Becky's got she going to tap. She's just got that locked in. And You've got to be kidding me. What? She broke it, though, in such a big so Could she be out of it? Could she be pinned off a submission? Wait, come on. I'm pretty sure plenty of people have done it in the past. Oh, she's Becky gone. Lynch has just pinned the SmackDown Women's Champion. And that's got to put Becky Lynch up there for that number one contendership opportunity. That is a huge victory for Becky Lynch, defeating the SmackDown Women's Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Becky Lynch, the Irish last kicker. Well, isn't that a turn up for the books? telling you a bit about turn up for the books ladies and gentlemen if you don't watch any of our shows and like our videos you're fickle it's official and we have of course four times a week raw main event smackdown which you're watching now main event nxt uh, make sure you check out nxt and uh, when it goes live on our well twitter i'll tell you when it goes live coming up next what about this the velveteen dream travis soul taking on woken brilliance and the intercontinental champion woken littlewood it's up next and what a match this is going to be for the well both these individuals so a huge opportunity for Travis Soul. and we're talking about Becky Lynch defeating the women's champion could this be a chance for this man to beat the intercontinental champion the Velveteen experience oh god Travis Soul. and the only experience that is acceptable yes indeed well what about yours you're the commentary experience. 
No, that's a horrible name. Look. There's only one experience around here, and it's the Velveteen experience. Travis Soul. But, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Um, Tim and uh, Mr. McMunda said that uh, you, you are the commentary experience. You've got to match your name. Oh, God. They're going to print out on a T-shirt, aren't they? Yeah. I thought I'd seen something suspicious at the merch stands. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, the Velveteen experience, of course, the Travis, oh. Travis Soul. Uh, this is make you more money. That is true. Well, you have got a 10-year contract. Yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Intercontinental Champion, the Woken Brilliance of Woken Littlewood. The complete and utter mad pan is Woken Littlewood, who... Yeah, you know, I went away and my boy Vladimir lost his Intercontinental Championship to this nutcase. Uh, very, very strange at DLC. Uh, I think you could just say that it was a... Uh, well, I would say it, it wasn't really an upset. Woken Little would have beat Vladimir twice before. Yeah, it was rather shocking to say the least. to be yeah, not upset, but... I was just rather shocked that he's able to do it, but Woken Littlewood, the madman that he is, is your intercontinental champion. And yeah, this is a huge opportunity for Travis Soule to get one over the Intercontinental Champion and show he deserves a shot at it. Well, you know the way Maz is. If you if Maz sees a winner, he, he, he usually gives the person the title shot. So he, Travis Soule could be the next in line if he wins here, even with the recent defeats he's had. Yeah, definitely could be. You know, you get that one, you know, monumentally important victory. Oh, brother, you brother, can brother, turn brother, your, brother. Oh, brother, brother. You can turn your career around, and that's what could happen for Travis Soul here tonight. With that, well, Woken Lilwood, I think he's been getting a bit frustrated here. He's showing you frustration. That's a huge Stand mistake up. by him. In turn. In turn. I'll sit in down. I'm going to sit down. It doesn't matter. Yeah, same here. Stupid intern. Oh, nice to oh, see you wow, still got the same. <laughs> I'm going to walk you all standing. Jesus. Good Lord, you bolding twats. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen, that it is uh, what, a very strange night well, here. Well, sit down. Yeah. Well, you go watch your sore legs. As a Velveteen Dream winner sent in to the ropes. And uh, no, went for the back elbow, and Velveteen Dream takes full advantage. Oh, but look at that, speed by taking advantage. Work a little catches it, but no, Velveteen Dream travels so easily kicking out. Oh, jeez, good lord, and they're just boots. Woken Littlewood in the face. That'll take the die out, yeah. In a minute, yeah. Oh! And the Dream Valley driver fell up by the cover, the hook of the leg. Two and oh! Tell you one thing, Jim Judgment has been taking his time tonight getting down for this, uh, these covers and oh, wait a minute. Oh, is he picking the purple Rainmaker elbow? Got him! Yes, yes. I don't know if he got it all. Oh, right at the hard cam as well. I think he did. Oh! But still Woken Littlewood kicks out. My goodness me, it's not even a pay-per-view. Oh, he out to, back to the outside. Oh. God, and lands awkwardly there to the outside. Guys, tell you one thing, Tim. The SmackDown superstars are showing that they are determined as uh, that was a complete miss. That was a complete miss, so we've got to stand up again. These these two get very close to us. It, it, it's been a while since our table got broken. It's been about three seasons, I think. Oh, wait a minute here. Little Wood. Oh! Got caught taunting and... Again, Velveteen Dream. Wait a minute. Brother, 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 brother. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Velveteen Dream hitting the brother, 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 brother leg drop. See that quick. Oh, wait a minute. Velveteen has Dream's him up. He has him up. What is he going for here? Buckle oh, bomb! Good lord, a brutal buckle bomb to Woken Littlewood. We've got to tell you one thing here. Tim, the Woken Lord has took some punishment, but is still in this. Now with some mission locked in. He's officially on a double stretcher locked in here. And yeah, Woken Lord really has taken punishment. But he's a complete nutcase. I don't know how much pain he's actually in. 
And, you know, he could completely turn his luck around and pick up a victory from out of nowhere. Is he... Was he speaking a foreign language? Oh, wait a minute. No, Kiss? I think he was speaking some kind of alien dialect. Oh, goodness me. And maybe th that uh, Kiss has just woken, woken Littlewood up. Pardon the pun. Is... Now... Nope. Littlewood trying to get a submission. Then... Oh, wait a minute! Side effect! Oh, the side effect! Travis around the southern part, but the work level was too quick. And now he's speaking of a twist of wood. If he hits this, you can tell. No, wait a minute. Uh, Travis knew what was coming and stopped the twist of wood. And now our oh, DDT. Jesus, spiking him into the map. It just shows you how quick matches can turn you. Look at raking at the eyes. It's brutally yeah, raking the eyes and the rest of the face. As Walker Little has just had real trouble in his matchup dealing with Travis Soul. Cover! No, two count only. Walker Littlewood. Wait a minute, oh, nice reverse back elbow. And now, Littlewood. Gut red suplex showing the power. And now, oh, I think the Walker one is now ready to put Velveteen Dream away here. Big clothesline. Second one. It's like to put him in a big drop kick. And now, could this be the beginning of the end for the dream? Side effect number two! It's another huge side effect, and now I cover the hook of the leg. And Velveteen no. Dream still has stuff left in him. Yeah, and Michael will start to get frustrated, but that's just something he can afford to do is get frustrated. But this is when he's just keep on the offense. Kick into the midsection. Get it. No! No, again! Travis so calculates it and finds a counter to the twist of wood. You've got to say it's very smart from the Velveteen Dream. He knows exactly what is coming. And he has cut Woken Littlewood off twice now in this matchup. As, nope. Block in the middle here. Woken Littlewood. Big snap suplex. A lovely snap suplex. Every time he's traveled, just would not be successful for a cover. He off the leg and no. Travis kicks out. He's walking a little bit, becoming a little bit desperate here. Seems like it. He's seeing that he can't get, you know, hit the twist of wood. So he's now thinking of what he has to do to defeat Travis Soul here. Look at this, just wrenching on the arm, just really. It looks like he's tickling him. A tickling. A tickles. Back up again. Oh, Velveteen Dream coming back. Huge clothesline. May have just knocked Littlewood right out of his broken sense as into the cover. Oh, come on! Oh, he's using the ropes of leverage, but no! Woke a Littlewood able to kick out. Wait a minute. Big backbreaker. Both men feeling the toll of this match. No, no, I was going to say he's going to go up top here. Is he going to look for that purple rainmaker again? And you can see how tired he is, or how much his match is taken out of Travis Soul. He's up on top. And oh! Uh, misses! Crash and burn! Little one. Third side effect of the match! Now a third one, and now a cover hook off the leg as he put him away. Yes, he yes. has! Woken Littlewood, a hard fought victory here tonight! Yeah, I mean, Travis Soul dominated most of the match, but in the end, he went for one purple rainmaker, but too many. Woke a little wood, calculating it, and hit a third side effect and gets the win. Well, the Woke a little wood, the Intercontinental Champion, victorious on SmackDown here tonight. I think he'll be a challenger Ooh. for that title. Uh, my guest at this time is SmackDown GM Maz Freeway and Maz. We found out on Raw from Mr. McMunder that SmackDown superstars will be on the next Raw. What plans do you have for Kurt and the Raw brand? I mean, I don't know. Maz is really going to give away plans of his to you, Josh. He's just going to spill out every idea he has. Josh, if I tell you what I have planned, then they will know what is coming. But then again, Kurt and all them on the B Show should know by now what we have here on SmackDown. And we have two Battle Royal matches, which we... See, Josh, you stupid idiot for asking stupid questions. 
will win and take the last spot in the Royal Rumble matches. And when we win the matches, the winners of the matches will get the last spot in the Rumble matches. So the SmackDown superstars will win on Raw. Hotline is buzzing. I think what he meant to say was that whoever wins the matches for SmackDown are guaranteed the, the, the last entries. Yes. I think that was just... He I just, think he just got a bit too excited. Well, it's match for you, of course. Hot, wait, hotline is buzzing. And, well, what about this match coming up next? Jalberto El Rey is going to take on the man in the top 1%, Jess Oakland the third, of course, with the hardcore legend, Joe Disney. That is coming up next on SmackDown Live. Another great match coming your way. Let's see who can get a big victory in this one. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing first being accompanied by Selena Vega. He is... Gilberto El Rey! Yeah, Gilberto El Rey, the pride of Mexico, is going to look to get, well, a, you know, huge victory over the likes of Jess Oakland of the top 1%, and show that no, it's Gilberto who's the one in the top 1%. Of course, Gilberto, uh, the current, well, the longest reigning uh, United States champion, of course, wants to get back to them height. Apparently, I asked him backstage today, uh, Tim, I was asking, well, what's next for Gibeldo? Selena said, shut up, peasant. You'll see in the coming weeks. Yeah, she's a smart woman. That's harsh. You are a peasant. And huh. She's not going to tell you what's coming next for her client, Gilberto El Rey. But do you really think this has worked, Tim, since Selena's become Gilberto's manager that it's not really had much success yeah, sometimes things take a bit of time to start moving up you just give it time and i think that this dynamic duo will really work out and i think we'll see Gilberto on top well, i've got to tell you one there's definitely nothing wrong with his ego of course uh but as i said it's a i just don't think it's worth i think he needs to start picking up wins to uh even he needs to pick up at least a few wins before even thinking about getting back into a title race. And we'll see if he could defeat Jess Oakland the third, top one percent. He'll certainly you know, start building up those wins he desperately needs. Well, can the Mexican pride Gilberto get back to win a full entrance for him? So, obviously, we're not that much of a time restraint. Eh, obviously, not that much. Yeah, he gets full entrance. fans here in Tucson uh, looking forward to this one I am in the top 1% and ladies and gentlemen being a coming to the ring by the hardcore legend Joe Disney he's in the top 1% J-O-3 Jess Oakland the third of course this man being a company to the ring by the hardcore legend Joe Disney will just look to continue the, the pad run of form but Gilberto are right and pick up a huge victory for himself in this matchup. I have to tell you one thing. Again, let's talk about someone who's not really had that much success since coming to SmackDown. It's this guy here. Yeah, so, so sometimes it could just be, you know, that one, you know, big victory you need, and then you start getting destroyed. And that's what the case for both Jessica and the third and Gilberto are I mean, this is their opportunity. To, you know, get a huge win and then stop building on from that. Uh, you have to say, I would say, a defeat for either man here is is not. Well, it's not going to look good in the eyes of Maz. Uh, it's certainly not. We know how Maz feels about superstars who continue losing. He's no fan of them. So we'll see. You know which which superstar he might end up getting a loser. Joe, Joe, no, oh lovely carrots. Thank you again. They were golden. More next week. Oh, you're such a nice man. Oh my god, this is seriously that coffin is really starting to seem, you know, like an option. Well, talking about people that need victories more than being in a coffin, it's that man. Can Jess Oakland the third, you know, score the victory here? Or will it be Gilberto El Rey? We're in for quite the contest right here. Well, we're under, we're under, oh my goodness, straight away. 
job here to Albie. Come on then, Tim. Let's give a prediction for you. Who do you think is going to walk away with the win in this one? You know, I think I just have to go with Jesso could have fed. He's, you know, the same more experienced at the two. I mean, that's what's going to give him a win. You know, he both these two desperately need to win, but I think Jesso Quinn's the one who's going to capitalise on the opportunity that much more than Gilberto. Oh, sweep of the legs. And of course, Reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that we have the Royal Rumble coming up in a very few short weeks. Uh, of course, the first ever women's Royal Rumble is going to happen. 20 women in the Royal Rumble. And of course, they will have a 30 men Royal Rumble. Uh, of course, the winner getting a headline shot at SummerSlam. It's a two, you know, big Royal Rumble matches. You definitely don't want to miss out on. You definitely don't want to miss out on anything that comes away. Building up to the Royal Rumble, and then when we get to the Royal Rumble. Oh, just a quick cover from Gilberto. Could you see any, either of these men winning the Royal Rumble? You know, it could very well happen. That's the unpredictability of the Royal Rumble is if you get the right kind of number and, you know, you outlast the other superstars, we see some rather surprising winners over the years. Look at this. Oh, Gilberto. Of course, Adrian Kincaid winning it last year. Um, could it be a, a SmackDown superstar? Of course, we're going to find out. Um, who's going to get the 30th entry uh, for the for the men and the 20th for the women on Raw this week as Maz was just saying and Maz has just dangled a carrot pardon the pun um, saying that whoever wins the match f for Smackdown will be guaranteed that last entry so it could be huge for any one of our Smackdown superstars on Raw this week it really could be and you know, yeah it will be huge for them whoever gets the win they're going to you know after a huge opportunity, they're going to go with a huge advantage when it comes to Rob Rumble. It's Jess Hooker with that, in, that variation of an STO takedown. Oh, and let's see. Just, just can't keep away from the women, can he? No, he can't. I mean, I, I actually asked Sully Vega about a rumour I'd heard. Uh -huh. uh, I was like, what's this whole rumour about you and Gilberto being an, you know, an item when she went no that's not a thing I prefer satanic kickboxers ah uh, of course and I was like ah oh, fair enough wait a minute look out here and oh the big knee strike and then he's going for that top one but centre got it that's it that's it arrogant cover Jim Judgment uh, oh Jim Judgment distracted by Selena Vega uh, ref that's about uh, a 17 count it is, but I mean, you look at Selena Vega, how can you not be distracted? Uh, whoa! Oh, Jim Judgment! Come on, no! Well, I've got to say something, that, that's very harsh. That is very harsh. How could you get rid of that absolutely stunning Selena Vega? That's just wrong. Right, what is goodness. wrong with you, Jim? You oh, a backstabber! Is he blind or something? Are you, <laughs> Jesus! Are you, no, that didn't work. But Jez Oakland able to kick out the nasty backstabber. But uh oh. Oh, this could be bad. Super oh, kick! My goodness, what a super kick. Well, Joe the, Disney should think about trying to do something to help his client out. Well, he is the, the, the Disney effect, but the Disney effect doesn't need to come into play on this one. Just a two. And, and also. Let's just quickly go back to what uh, Thomas N said a bit earlier on. That in, in our main event tonight, he wants the winner of that main event to join him in the ring at the beginning of next week's show. And that is huge. And it's going to be a big fight of four way later on tonight to decide no more contender. And then next week at the start of the show, we'll get to see no more contender and Thomas N meet in that very ring. I guess so. Well, we'll see what will happen. Will they just exchange words or will they exchange blows? And will this be a devastating blow for GO3? It is! Oh my goodness, a big Jump news. Berto picks up the win here tonight. Now a huge, huge victory for Gilberto Ryan. I'm not sure what Churches is doing, not, you know, he's the classic Disney effect. Uh, well. I've got, I've got to tell you one thing, Tim. We're talking about it, I was talking about it, but that is huge. Yeah, that is huge. That is a much needed victory. For Gilberto El Rey. A big, big win for Gilberto here tonight. And we're talking about the Royal Rumble, ladies and gentlemen. It is just weeks away now, of course. Um, and you've got to be thinking, could Gilberto now put himself as one of the favourites? 
You very well could have just hit the Royal Rumble with such an unpredictable event. We've had some, you know, crazy winners over the years. Could Gilberto be one of those shock victories? Well, coming up next, just weeks before that match at the Royal Rumble, it's again single action for the Tag Team Champions as Scott Dawson takes on Bowen. And of course, remember last week, Dash Wilder failed um, against Luton. What's going to happen this week? We'll find out next. No, we will find out next what a matchup this is going to be. Well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first being accompanied by his tag team partner, Rutan. He is Bowen! Now we're seeing this matchup can, you know, these two officials, can they get even more momentum against, you know, the tag team champions? This is a huge matchup for Fallout in the singles action. Though I've heard um, rumours of a potential name change. No, no, you haven't. To the nuclear experience. <laughs> oh, no. I knew you were going to say that. No, not true. Not very all true. I heard is, all I heard backstage earlier was, God damn it, we need to change their name. Oh, my God, Vince. Well, I tell you one thing, though. We are just weeks away from the fallout getting a tag team title shot against... Uh, the revival, of course, these single matches that have come through the, the fallout really uh, rooting uh, will look to be as imp was impressive last week. Sorry, Bowen, could he be impressive against Dawson here tonight? That's what we're gonna see. Can he add the fallout gain even more momentum against all well, the revival? Ladies and gentlemen, their opponent, opponent his opponent, even. They've been accompanied by Dash Wilder, he's one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Scott Dawson! Well, we'll see, can Scott Dawson get a bit of momentum back for the revival, of course? You now, these two are your current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Of course, they need all the momentum, you know, they can get going against Fallout. And of course, I have to remind you, it is the enforcer, Scott Dawson, of course. Ah, uh, yes. No, no, I think it was... Yeah, the enforcer Scott Dawson and then the but, hitman Dash Wilder. Yes. Uh, but, of course, Scott Dawson, can he get a win uh, for the Revival? Can he get some momentum back on the Tag Team Champion side here tonight? It's definitely not going to be an easy task against a man like Poe. You just look at the size of him. You're going to see a big size difference. Well, we're underway here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, don't anger the the big man, Bowen. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Dawson coming back. Nice knee to the back here. I was going to say Dawson doesn't want to anger um, Bowen. Is, because I tell you what, Bowen has got some extraordinary power. And he certainly does. He's got extraordinary power and a nasty mean streak. Well, it's good to see he's having control, but again, now Bowen fighting back. And that's the thing, it's going to take a hell of a lot to take down a man like Bowen, but so it could be said for Scott Dawson. Oh, George Acker. Dawson, of course. Look again, he can't rock Bowen. And, oh, gets paid oh. for it again. Yeah, another nasty close. So Scott Dawson just tries to hit him with his biggest punch possible. I mean, it has no real effect. I heard the fallout like the Vi like Vikings. Huh, how interesting. Yeah. Apparently it was a total experience for them. Ah, they went on that weird tourist thing in Norway, didn't they? They did, yes. There's a... Oh, wait a minute! Oh, caught! Dawson He's caught him! He's caught him! Could this be a quick cover out of nowhere? No! Is it mere ju judgment? To Very slow tonight. He is getting old, isn't he? Well, that's true. And it is his favourite time of year, of course, when his hero is about. Yeah, the Easter egg. Yeah, Apparently, he, he maybe he's eaten too many Easter eggs. Oh, I had an Easter egg today. Oh, well, I, I, I've got one, but I haven't started it yet. Oh, no. oh, look at this. Dash Wilder getting involved. Throwing the chair now, trying to distract Bone. I think Scott Dawson may have just tweaked a knee or something there, you know? Yeah, possibly he was favouring his knee. Oh, that doesn't oh stop goodness. him. Huge stop. German suplex. 
I also hate to doubt you, Dave. You might have cursed yourself. How? Eating an Easter egg before it's Easter. No, it's Easter. You meant to wait till tomorrow. Oh. Uh, well, we've got NXT. Well, NXT might be tomorrow. So, I had to get them in quick. Ah. And is it... Don't, wait, don't, oh, and also, I wanted to make sure nobody else had it as well. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, look at this. Trying to look at this. Chop oh, I went for the chop block. Boo and knew what was coming. That was very smart. Now, going to try and work over Scott Dawson here. Boo and... Invoke Chola. Oh! oh! God, what a DDT. And look at Dash Waller trying to distract the referee. May not make any difference. Oh, oh. We're there. Is this going to be the next... He calls this the uh, the Fallout experience. Oh, dear. That's a terrible name. Ah, oh, Dash oh, Wilder. Minute. Come on. Well, that is what Dash Wilder is going to do to try get momentum for the revival. Got to tell you one thing. That was surely a life saving. Oh, a flapjack. And Dash Wilder's now been ejected. Hey, he's been told to get out of here. Which is much more reasonable when than when Sully Rago told to get out. Again. Bowen now all over. Scott Dawson. What is he thinking about doing here? Oh look at this, looking for a cheap win! You're looking for a cheap win? Oh got it too! Maybe using Dawson's tactics against him here. Yeah, maybe. Oh goodness, the what a job block. Oh, Scott Dawson now answer will cover hook of the leg. No! You've got to be thinking that Bowen is just... The chop block isn't going to really keep the big man down. Going to try and work him over here. Just I'm trying just to... Just into a sleeper. Yeah, try and take the energy out of the big man. And that is very smart to try and take the energy away from Bowen to really, you know, neutralise a lot of his strength and power. It's the same thing as that if you're using a chop block. Well, again, Bowen just so quick to get up and again, though, you working on the leg, so you've got to give Dawson credit here. He is. Oh, well, I was going to say you've got oh. to give him credit, but uh, when Bowen's just that quick, it just uh, it doesn't really give you much help, does it? No, it really doesn't. And uh oh, what has Bowen got a plan here? Something terrible by the looks of it. Wait a minute. Throws him away. Up to the middle. Oh my goodness, a big man up on the second rope. Oh, gives him a fist in. Good lord, I mean, it's the revival. The revival would like to say no flips, just fists. I mean, Scott Dawson, who took a nasty fisting to the face. Oh, looking for that DDT oh. again. Again, it's that huge DDT, but Bone here, what was he doing? I don't know if he was, he was just wondering if he, what does he, else does he need to do? He had a very interesting back and forth match. Da Dawson. Is he, is he taunt? Is he like playing with Scott Dawson here? That could be a huge oh, mistake. Oh, wait, has him up. Fallout experience. Oh, nuclear deal. <laughs> the nuclear deal. Oh, that's much better. And got him. Got him. What a victory for Bowen. And the momentum is all on the side of Fallout. Got to tell you one thing. We could be just a few short weeks away from looking at new tag team champions. Because the revival, since winning the titles, have hit a roadblock in the in the name of Fallout. Yeah, they certainly have really hit a roadblock there. So the momentum is all on the side of Fallout. Big win here tonight for Bowen. And well, as I say, the revival, I think, need to go back to the drone board against these two big men. And there, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is official. It is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. It is coming up at the Royal Rumble. You've got to see at the minute, Tim. The revival. Well, what can they do to, to stop the momentum of Fallout? I don't know. It's not looking good for the revival and their tag team title reign. It looks like it could be coming to an end at the Royal Rumble. They've got to pick up some kind of game plan to keep those titles intact. Well, coming up next, talk about tag team action. American Alva look to get back to winning ways if they can take out the Bludgeon Brothers. That comes up next. I much that this could be a real test for American Alva against a team like the Bludgeon Brothers.
especially after American Alpha, have not had the recent form that they thought they would have, especially when they went against the Revival. But, ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, it is Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, American Alpha. So this is a huge test for American Alpha, but also a huge opportunity. I mean, if they can defeat the Bludger Brothers, they'll get them back onto the winning track they need to. They said a Bludger Brothers full of SmackDown Tag Team Champions and had a very long reign with those titles. But many people expected American Alpha when they got back together to be right up there in the tag team title picture. Hasn't really worked out like that, of course. Um, unfortunately, as I said, the revival came and really derailed the momentum of American Alpha. And really, these two young gentlemen need... Well, if they... they doesn't look like it's going to get any easier, shall we say, against the Bludgeon Brothers here tonight. So certainly not going to be any easier at all. We see what the Bludgeon Brothers do to their opponents in the ring. And the kind of punishment they themselves could survive and keep going with. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, the team of Traf, Savage and Tristan Knight, the Bludgeon Brothers. Now these are two guys that are just absolutely scary and intimidating in that ring. So that's why they held the SmackDown Tag Team titles for as long as they did. Which and one's the recycled one? The recycled one? Well, which one turns into being the Recycle King? Ah, uh, I think that would be Trey Savage. Ah. Uh, well, got to tell you one thing. These two... <laughs> Let's just see when you see them um, without uh, the mask, it's scary. M my God. Yeah, that is just uh, horrifying. But that is the Bludgeon Brothers. They bring the intimidation factor whenever they go to the ring. You've got to think, well, wonder what is going through the heads of American Alpha. Let's just quickly just run through what these guys have done. Let's talk about Tristan Knight first. SmackDown Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Champion, NXT Champion, ACW Champion, Trey Savage, NXT Champion, SmackDown Tag Team Champion, of course. You've got to say that these guys, they know how to get the job done. And when they're as a team, Tim, you have to say it takes a lot for a team to beat them. It, they've got to be really 110% on their game to even get anywhere near these two guys. Yeah, exactly. They really have to be that way. And that's why, you know, the Bludger Brothers are able to stand on top of the tag team division on SmackDown for so long. And it's like, this is going to be a tough battle for well American Alpha. So here we go. Look how good. Oh, Ray. my God. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. Jesus. I've got to tell you one thing here, Tim, that uh, Chad Gable has got to use, well, I would say use his quickness, but that might not even be enough here. Yeah, it may not be enough, but look at that beautiful arm drag where Chad Gable here, yes, he uses speed to outmaneuver, you know, the Pludge and Brothers said goes for Jason Jordan. And oh! It's all oh, good, this just gets caught, and that is what the Pludge and Brothers are perfect at, is just picking apart and torturing their opponents. Now, look at this. This is not looking good here for Chad Gable. No, it's really not. Oh, my Oh! oh! Goodness, what a double team manoeuvre. That is not going to be good. That is not going to feel good for Chad Gable in the morning. It's certainly not. And the Bludger Brothers are doing the right thing here. They have isolated Chad Gable and they are picking him apart. Gable are going to come back here. Going to try and take Tristan Knight. Try and get some momentum here. Quick tag. Watch out, Chad. Gable ducks in the nares. Jason Jordan with the drop kick. Lovely drop kick. Now working over the arm, and that is spotty. They'll take out the strength of Tristan Knight. Now, look at this. Jordan going to work over Tristan Knight in. And Jordan, again, we, we talk about Jordan's um, since coming back with American Alpha. As I said, do you think Jordan is, is maybe keeping Chad Gable down here after of course Jason Jordan has not had a very good season 7 and it really hasn't and maybe that could be the case it could just Jordan be holding Chad Gable down but then could the same be said for Chad Gable that he hasn't had a great season 7 and the tag team team hasn't really helped either of them 
No, look at this. This is the strength of Jason Jordan. This kid has got so much strength. Gut wrench suplex. Tim, you have to say though, Jordan, I think Jordan just really needs something to click to, for him to really get to that next level because he just doesn't seem to have it at this moment in time. He does really need to find something to click with to really, you know, get on top to be a top guy around here alongside Chad Gable with the team of America. Because at one point, they thought were a formidable tag team. No one were tag team champions. But in recent times, in this reformation, it's not been the same feeling. Quick tag here, Jordan. Gonna... Look at this though. On, on Tristan. Oh! Took two of them, sorry, on Trey Savage. But that's what they've got to do. They've got to try and work quick because that can happen very easily. Yep, can happen so, so quickly. So he's in. Oh my god, what a boot to the face of Chad Gale. That could have knocked him out. But Jesus Christ, Jim, a bit quicker. No, not on this occasion. As oh, went swinging a miss. Gable, nope, nice reversal. Savage, again reversal. My goodness, Gable is trying to hang in there, but it just seems the power game just keeps going every time. And again, Gable fighting back, and again, another reversal. You just really can't keep up with this at times, Tim. No, you really can't. It's so oh, not again. Really trying to find something to get him going, but oh. he couldn't. Oh, no. Oh! oh right to the lower back. Yeah, that was a nasty. But look at his check. He was fighting back again. I mean, he has a hell of a lot of heart. But how much heart does he... Now, is it going to be enough to defeat the Blodgett brothers alongside Jason Jordan? Look at the, ham the hamstring. Did he tap? Is he tapping? I don't think so. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. That looked suspiciously like maybe a tap there. That hamstring was getting stretched by Chad Gable. But again, Tristan Knight... Sorry, oh. Tristan Savage is just... Oh, no, it's Tristan Knight, sorry. Is yeah. just too quick. He is too quick. That's the scary thing about the Blodgett brothers is their powerhouses. Oh, no. But oh my so god. Quick. Oh, god, what a deadly power bomb. That has got to be nearly eight, nine foot in the air. And look at this. Oh no, hit the turnbuckle. Gable, can he get some momentum? Finally, no, he can't. I see. Everything Chad Gable's drawing. Whoever he's in the room with, whether it's Tris or not, Tris, they have an answer and a counter. Gable, again, trying to fight out. Wait a minute. Trying to get no. Going to Take the big man off his feet here. Oh! oh work over in the arm. And that is smart. You can see how much his match has taken out, Chad Gable. I think he needs to get Jason Jordan back in. Because everything he tries to do, and it's just he just keeps getting hit with bigger and bigger moves. And like this, how much more can Chad Gable take here? Oh Can't no. Take too much more. No, oh, no, not again. Azimar brings it down. And now. It could be the beginning of the end. It could be. Jack was just being brutal. End of night! It's it. Cover hook of the leg. Two. No! But, Jordan gets in just in the nick of time. Yeah, he gets there in time. I don't know what Trey Savage was doing. Maybe he. Maybe they want to continue on the punishment to Chad Gable. Oh it's my oh goodness. God. What a belly to belly throw. Gable, look. Wait, look at this. Oh, a hot tag! No, a hot tag here to Jason Jordan. It's his time to shine here. It's time to get this matchup back in the hands of American Alpha. Jordan, I tell you, we said he just needs one thing to click. If he can be the man that does it here, my God, what would that mean to American Alpha? Look at the strength! That just, is... That is crazy. scary. My goodness me. This young stud is on fire here. Oh! And then Connect! Next, no oh way! Have a hook of the leg! Oh! Ooh. Just when American Alpha thought they had the match won, Tristan Knight saves him, but... Oh! Jordan is like a house on fire here! Yeah, he really is like a house on fire. This is such an impressive showing by Jason Jordan. If you just click a few more moves... Oh, oh you had to jinx it, didn't you? Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, God, Jesus, just throwing him like he was a toy. That's the thing with Trey Savage is you don't want to get him angry because when he's angry, it's even worse than close fist punches. Oh, just the brutality now. 
Like Trey Savage who closed his punches and now look at his stomps to the chest. That could do it, you know, that could be it. That really could no. be it. No! My goodness, mate. What a match. What a night we've had here. Superstars digging deep here on SmackDown Live. And American Alpha are, are really giving the Bludgeon Brothers a test for their money here. Yeah, they really are. You've got to give up for American Alpha for really showing tenacity in this matchup and real guts and determination. Oh, but look at this again. Just when you think it's going to go American Alpha's way here. Oh, no. So oh. I think Savage is done playing around here. Yeah, I think he's pissed, but now he's just waiting. What is he doing here? He needs to I think they're mocking it. They're mocking, jo they're mocking Jordan. Oh, they mock Jordan. They mock Jordan. This could play in, play in the... Oh, oh, that's... Never mind. Uh, there was the... Oh, beat. my God. God, it's in a turnbuckle. He's With dead. Double hand choke slam. He's dead. Yeah, R.I.P. Jason Jordan. Chad no, Gable! And no, Gable coming back! Yeah, he's fighting back. But the problem is, how much has Jordan got left? How much do either of them have left? Because both have been equally brutalized in this match. Oh, a cheap shot from Tristan Knight! Yeah, it's a cheap shot, but it was effective. And a and big bag body drop! Oh my god, is it just a punish which just continues on? Oh Jesus, what a punch! This is not looking good. Uh, we keep saying it's not looking good, but my goodness, American Alpha are, are still fighting in this one! But they are still trying everything in their power to keep the match going for them, and look at that! Gets up the no way, way. Him get up. him up! Jordan! Drops Tristan Knight right across that top tim, uh, sorry, top rope, and now he thinks he's boss from Boston, but two. Oh, come on, hand on the say, rope. Yeah, that arm was right into the rope. And, oh, Jordan again going for that shoulder tackle. Still trying to get out of it here. You got this. This has been an awesome tag team match between these two teams. Yeah, it really has. You say. Constantly, American Alpha is showing real heart and determination. What is Trey Savage doing? I don't know, but that seems to be some miscommunication there between the Bludgeon Brothers. Look at this. Big scoop and a slam. And, well, Tristan, maybe it's now taking it down on Tristan Knight. Maybe American Alpha are you trying to use that cardio to stay in this, but... And then, I don't know how much... Surely, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable... Gable is eager to get back in. Jordan looks like he's out of it. He really does. I mean, doesn't matter much how hard you have. If you're just getting brutalized and tortured by the Bludgeon Brothers, it's going to take you out of you, no matter how good your cardio is. Jordan fighting, but can he get that tag? Can he get a tag to, to Gable? Gable trying to get the crowd here in Tucson up and on their side here. Jordan finally trying to stop Tristan Knight getting the tag, but this is the problem. Jordan needs a tag of his own, and this could, now it could come. Here and it is! Now we get the tag. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, wait a minute. minute! Brand altitude! It hits it to cover. The Come on! He's distracted momentarily. Oh Two! My... Got him! Oh my god, an American Alpha have done it! American Alpha have defeated the Bludgeon Brothers! That is huge! You have got to give props to these two young kids tonight! Oh, you certainly do. They showed heart and determination. They might be brutalized pretty much throughout the whole matchup. But it was that hard to keep going is what's got them the victory here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, talking about our next show, NXT. It is for the NXT Championship. Rob Dundee defends against David Story. David Story has not had a good time in singles action, and he's got to go against Rob Dundee. Well, what will happen? You'll find out on our next show. Will the Scottish Psychopath continue his reign? Or will the Cinderella story from David's story win the big one? Yeah, that's what we'll find out in the next team, which you definitely do not want to miss out on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. Who will be the next challenger at the Thomas End at the Royal Rumble for the World Heavyweight title? Georgie Mack, Danny Six, Nova Mahal and Simon Kether go battle in an elimination fatal four-way. And I've been told we have time restrictions. Now, ah, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, Danny Six. 
And yeah, we definitely need a time restriction for this guy's entrance. But it goes, this guy, well, you've got to see this guy's going to have a bit of um, momentum of his own after realising he's still the longest reigning NSW champion. Yeah, he certainly had some words to say after, you know, the last episode of Raw, when his reign stayed intact and momentum's on his side. You were feeling confident going into this matchup. And you'll see, can he become the number one contender? Wait a minute, cricket noises? What the hell? Oh, cricket noises! Oh no, his mechanical cross thing's breaking. <laughs> oh, that, well that's new. Yeah, maybe he needs it fixed to get it some oil. Some DW40, is that it? WD40. WD40, yeah, whatever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Danny Six, of course. Well, what? Let's talk about uh, what he's done in NSW. My goodness, this guy has done it all. Uh, he is world heavyweight champion, NSW champion twice, Raw tag team champion twice, looking to become, of course, a two-time world heavyweight champion. But, uh, well, I think this man might have something to say about that, ladies and gentlemen. Nova Maha. Yeah, no, no, we'll certainly look, be looking to, you know, say stuff about that to stake his claim as number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship and start off his first reign. We'll see, no, no, this is a huge opportunity for him in this matchup. Let's hope it's not 2017. We can only have, I mean, unless we've time traveled. Well, that is true, yes. But, of course, India uh, still waiting for their first world champion here in NSW, of course. Could it be Nova Mahal become the first for them? Or could it be the Steel City Brawler, ladies and gentlemen, Georgie Mack? Yeah, of course, Georgie Rex is a former world heavyweight champion. So he would definitely want to, you know, get the number one contendership in this matchup and try to become a two-time world heavyweight champion he's had the taste of it before but can he get it done here tonight and get that number one contendership match ladies and gentlemen though what about this he is simon keller of course simon keller is the former world heavyweight champion so you know he, he's got a lot right in this matchup he wants a rematch with thomas end to reclaim what he feels is rightfully his in the world heavyweight championship I, I was surprised Maz even let him in this match, to be honest. He lost the match against Thomas End last week. Yeah, it is rather surprising that he's been allowed into this matchup, but this could be a last opportunity for Simon Kevin, though. If he loses here, it may be the last opportunity he sees for a good long while. Well, of course, here we go then. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is pinfall submission and it is elimination rules. There's... Jim Judgment's going to have his hands full with these four competitors. As oh my god, big knee and a big clothesline sending Mahal and six down to the the mat. But Mahal, with a handful of hair, taking Keller down, who's tied up in the ropes early on. It's all good as well. We know the issue between Georgie Mack and Tasix. They are no strangers to each other. They certainly have bad blood between each other. Of course, speaking of World Heavyweight Championships. Georgie Mack defeated Tessix to get his first reign of that championship. Well, we will see, of course, who, who is going to have that shot at the Royal Rumble. Thomas Enders said that he wants, as we said earlier in the show, Thomas Enders said that he wants the winner of this match, whoever it is, to join him in the ring at the beginning of next week's Smackdown, the next episode of Smackdown. Um, so I wonder if, if that person will um, oblige. Mm. Do I think I believe they will oblige to you know, get some words in on Thomas Ed or maybe even get some shots in on him to gain momentum, of course, towards the, the bit time which we'll see come the Royal Rumble. I am so excited. I love the Royal Rumble. People get eliminated all the time. Ah, yes, and I don't get a chance to say wrong match, Dave. Mm. Unless it's not the actual official Royal Rumble match. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but during it, I don't get to say it at all. I get to say it's right match, Dave. I think we should, you know, we have a Royal Rumble match mm -hmm. for like the men and the women. Ah, he's eliminated. Wrong match, Dave. Uh, uh, you know, we have a, why don't we have like, not just one Royal Rumble match. Like, why don't we have Royal Rumble matches for like the NSW title, the World Heavyweight title, the Intercontinental title, the United States title, the tag team titles maybe. 
This has like loads of rumble. Do you rumble to last for five years? <laughs> no, that could be a part. That could be three years. But it would make it. It would. Could you imagine just a show full of Royal Rumbles? Um, unfortunately, as great as a Royal Rumble is, you would ruin the concept of Royal Rumble. Well, we did have six Money in the Bank ladder matches this year. Yeah, and it kind of ruined the concept of Money in the Bank. It was overdone. And of course, Ridge died the next night. Yep. It's a cover and all. No, Dice is still alive in this one. But we're going to have a women's Royal Rumble for the first time. Yeah, and that I am absolutely ecstatic for seeing the women have their first. Wait a minute, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> what a huge elbow. Kether looking to eliminate six here. He's got a cover hook at the leg. Oh, oh what? My God. Danny Six has been eliminated. That is a shock. That is a shock. The first eliminated. Wow. They, i got to tell you one thing. That has put the cat among the pigeons and look out. Mahal trying to eliminate the still city baller here. Cover. Hook of the leg. Quick elimination number two, maybe. No. Oh, a kick out by Chuchman. Which of these three is going to become the number one cadet? I mean... I think, yeah, everyone's in shock here. The test is going to eliminate it so quickly. Look out. Nope. Mahal, I think, was trying to line it up there. Now, oh, God. Oh, oh no, he does, does hit it. Could that be no Mahal gone? Hit it? Whoa! It oh, my God. And so many gets two eliminations back to back. Keller is on a roll here. Yeah, he is on a roll, but he's hungry to get that shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. He wants his championship rematch against Thomas End. And now, but, uh -oh. no way, Georgie Mack, could it, could it be Georgie Mack's time? As Simon Gavar up, oh, hits it. Plants him, hand under the bottom rub. Referee hasn't seen it. Quite. It's not quite. Oh, Georgie Mack steals one. And well, Georgie back is the number one contender. I'm sure we're not going to hear the last of this, ladies and gentlemen. But Georgie Mack is going to the Royal Rumble and will challenge Thomas End for the World Heavyweight Title. And well, will Georgie Mack? And that was quick. That was quick. Will he, you know, answer the call of Thomas End at the start? And well, the next episode of SmackDown. Congratulations to Georgie Mack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have run out of time. What a night on SmackDown Live. As always, for the commentary experience, Tim Price here, go back the fans. Goodbye, fans. That is it. My name has been Dave Easton. Thanks for watching. Please do not be fickle and like and retweet and like it on YouTube and all that rubbish. Uh, from everyone here at NSW, Dave Easton, Tim Price, we'll see you at NXT.